Hello Aries, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. Let us do your reading between 21 to 30th of August. Let's see the messages for you Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs and Aries are dealing with one. This is a general reading. For more persons or more accuracy, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email for personal readings. White prayer based spells and highest quality crystals, pure, 100% pure and intention charged, available with us in limited quantity. So if you want to grab your favorite crystal, reach out to me. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to my uh, YouTube channel for more videos on your sign, Aries. Check out my Instagram for free August predictions. I'll really help you. If you want to be a part of my Saint Expedite workshop that's coming up in two days, reach out to me and enroll for the same. Aries, let's see the messages for you. What's happening? <laughs> something to do with this song because it just immediately came into my mind <clears throat> i don't remember the title of the song let's uh focus on the read now all right so there's someone definitely having an eye on you could be an aquarius could be a sagittarius this person has been waiting from like two months or two weeks since the day they saw you and they have been checking on your social media consistently every now and then <clears throat> They're trying to be in control of their emotions, not uh, going over the top or not, um, uh, you know, trying, they're trying to control their desire to get to know you more. Okay, so this person is trying to be in balance. I feel like uh, they have a desire to talk to you. Okay, but there is a feeling of nervousness there's someone that is feeling very nervous before reaching out to you so they need kind of a hint from you a response from you that can assure them that they are comfortable they can come towards you all right this is a long distance for some of you i feel like you're dealing with someone that is a homely generous simple person Five of Wands, the page of source. I feel you you had a fight with this person initially. They could be younger than you. Yeah, you had a fight with this person initially and things were not going right. So that is why you distanced yourself from this person and now they're trying to heal this connection. They want to come back and heal this connection. They have been watching you. They have been stalking you. They have been looking at you. They want this new beginning so much. <clears throat> The five of wand energy is like I'm sensing um, you are not talking to this person. Yeah, you're not talking to this person. They want to talk to you, but they're also coming towards you with, an, with a heavy approach. I feel like this person is picking on things. They're being angry and they're blaming you for everything that happened basically it happened from both the sides but they're blaming you so that is why i feel like this person doesn't want to come into this uh with this energy towards you so they're trying to calm themselves down before they can come towards you but there is an intense desire to have you i feel like this person will go crazy if you date someone else over them this could be someone you've recently met, but things just didn't work out because there is a lot of misunderstandings between the two of you. Some of you separated with each other and the reason was third party. There was a third party in this situation that caused the separation to happen. And now you're angry, Aries. You don't want to give them another shot because you know that the next time you give them a shot, this is going to get even bigger, okay? And you know that it was cheating or it was backstabbing. But I am sensing that they have a point to prove. Like, I feel like this person wants to come towards you and let you know something major behind which they had to, you know, go through all this. But you're not ready to listen to this person. I feel they're, they're trying their best to communicate with you. But you're not ready for this communication. 
this is making them angry sensing yes this is someone that you already know they want to make you feel good they want to make you feel happy but at the same time they're really scared of losing you they're very very worried like they might have to lose you six of cups energy what else and then we have the high priest. This could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. I'm sensing this person is definitely take, taking tarot readings over you. They're trying to find more answers about what's going on in your life. You come off as shut down. You come off as closed off. They are worried like what's happening. Like they don't even know what's going on in your life. Because you are distancing yourself away from this person. And they're not liking this feeling. They want you at any cost. Yes. This person is going crazy. I'm definitely seeing this person may be thinking about spells. Okay. They want to communicate that something that I'm strongly sensing. Strongly sensing, guys. This person is worried. They're worried that you might have moved on or you're going to push them back. Like not listen to this person. Avoid them. They're trying their best to come with an energy of love and forgetting all the past issues that you guys have had, had been experiencing. They want to come with emotional energy. They want to come with relationship of a... They want this uh, relationship to be as a new beginning, like on a clean slate. They want to start off with a clean slate. They want to start off fresh. They want to show you that this time you can trust them. But this person has a huge ego. Even if they have made a mistake, they will never admit. But yes, this they will definitely try to mend their mistake, okay? And not repeat the same mistake. That is something that they are trying to assure you. So they're very happy to come towards you with a new beginning, okay? But uh, they are fearful of the results. This could be a Leo coming in. Yes, they want to lay a solid foundation. I'm seeing they want babies with you. They want kids with you. They want to jumpstart this connection on another plane, another level. I feel like they want to raise their vibrations. The moment you accept them or the moment you respond to them, this person will change. Their, their vibrations will increase and they will feel more attracted and attached to you. And everything will turn out to be positive between you guys. I'm sensing there is a possibility you guys will start seeing each other again. Or if it was a situation that didn't grow into a relationship, this is a time where things are working out. And you're not the one that is asking for it. They are asking for it desperately. So you guys are going to have a beautiful uh, romantic time. You guys will meet. You guys will discuss a lot of things, but forget about the past. They will try to refrain from bringing the past again. They'll try to talk about all the new things, fresh things, what's coming up. And they might also propose you. First time you will feel like you and them are meeting on the same page. Like your desires are very much the similar. Okay. You both want the same thing. You both want each other so much. And there's no one that's coming between you guys anymore. So now this person becomes your wish fulfillment. Then we have the moon card. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what? Aries. I'm not seeing this connection longing for a long time. I feel like this this is something that will start waning after September. Yeah, this connection is going to go down after September onwards. And I feel like there's someone new that's coming into the picture. Yeah, when you're with this person dating them, I feel like you've almost lost interest. There will be some spark left for two months. I feel like you guys will date good. But after then, I feel you lose interest and you'll walk away because there's something that keeps reminding you of the past. You'll walk away and I feel there's someone new coming in with a marriage offer or pro probably uh, your ego has gotten hurt and you're not able to forgive this person deep inside. I feel like I'm not seeing this connection moving forward because you have some issues. Like they are a little stuck up or they do uh, act possessive or can try to control situation which you are not comfortable with so i feel in the long run i'm not seeing this connection working out so maybe you're not gonna give into this the emperor let me see more someone new is definitely coming into your life yeah 
they will help you walk away from this person or there is an energy of father figure coming between you guys but what i'm sensing is you're going to start afresh a whole new chapter in your life leaving this relationship behind because in a way you move past that and your vibrations are raised and you're thinking in a very different plane even though you like this person but you don't want this person okay that's what is happening right now however if you really want to be with this person there is a very strong solid chance community you guys may be from the similar background and if this is this is not the person that is coming from the same uh, city or background then i feel the new person that's coming into your life is probably more older or wiser than you they could be from the same background or city <clears throat> that's the person is going to be very caring and nurturing towards you so if you walk away from this situation if in case you walk away from this situation you have someone nurturing and caring coming towards you in through your locality could be a libra gemini aquarius or another aries coming in Your past person definitely misses you and looks for you everywhere. They they can't replace you with anyone. I feel like this person's just gone crazy, uh, thinking about not having a relationship with you. I feel someone is definitely dying without you. So that's what I'm sensing. Okay, so you're definitely not seeing this person as your soulmate. You have emotions, but you don't feel the connection that, like you used to feel before. So what you're doing is walking away and making effort to date someone new, to meet someone new. The next person that's coming into your life is definitely your soulmate and the one that you're looking for or you were looking for in your life till now. Aries, okay strength you're becoming extremely independent and courageous in dealing with things alone you don't really rely on people and you don't need this person anymore you trust in yourself you trust in the new beginnings and you trust that someone around is coming towards you so you don't have to beg for this person to stay right and that is why they're not liking this that is why they're not liking the fact that you don't depend on them anymore you don't care for this person anymore or just don't want them I'm sensing the moment you walk away from this person, they may create a lot of blockages in your life. They may become your enemy. They may start being jealous and create, you know, negative thoughts in your mind and trouble you verbally as well. But you're in this uh, path to success. And I feel like this past person may get jealous and insecure of, your, of you outgrowing them. So be careful. And then... Aries, please. You will find what you seek. So you're looking for a soulmate for sure. Okay. I'm seeing your career is already doing pretty good. So you're not worried about that that much. But I'm definitely seeing your soulmate is around you. Be careful of some people being extremely manipulative. There is someone younger that is very attractive but has insecurities for you know you know they don't want to see you transform they don't want to see you grow so i feel like you disconnection is something that will become stale at one point of time so you're looking for a transformative bond you're looking for a connection that can change your life i feel that is what is coming after september that's what is happening and i'm seeing major changes will be seen in 2024 it's time for you to not depend on others which you're not like that but listen to your intuition. I feel you want to do something that makes you happy. You don't care about this person's intention or emotion anymore. You are going to take the lead just the way you want. So you're going to be the boss of your life. You have the power in your hand. So you can make those changes that you want. You are a magician right now, Aries. So I'm seeing for the fire, you may need a confidence bracelet which is tiger light that I have recently posted and it goes very well with this read. So if you want to buy any crystal, I would suggest your tiger's eye, pure crystal, which I have with me and I will activate it for you. Get it from me. So uh, you can check out more on Instagram, best quality crystals available. But yes, tiger's eye is going to help you a lot in this because this is a time for you to show strength, courage. 
and then treasure the moment you start living for yourself and looking for what makes you happy and not pleasing others which aries usually is not like that you're going to find treasure i'm seeing around september you will see the messages you will have a proper clarity around you in uh, in front of you so a situation from the past that was an unfinished business is someone still stuck on you you might be stuck on a past person all of this is going to end so give them one shot so that you guys can come to the point of pro proper closure and can move on from each other so sometimes this is important right Aries, some of you have their birthday or this person has their birthday on one or their birthday adds up to one. If your person's birthday adds up to one, they're very dominating. Avoid. Happiness, you are definitely attracting a lot more happiness. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. You're going to be the happiest person on earth because everything is just happening the way you ever wanted. Everything is happening for your happiness only. So chill. Wear more green. Or get a prosperity bracelet if you don't want a tiger's eye. Clear quartz. Yes, you can also uh, find the clear quartz bracelet. Now, clear quartz is basically for um, clear mind, having a clarity of mindset. Okay, strength is also very good for clear quartz. And if you want to strengthen your Venus, which is for your love life, clear quartz is a very, very good stone. And rose quartz is also good. But if you want clear quartz, I think that's much better for you, Aries, right now. Because it will give you more clarity in expressing and also understanding other person's emotions. And it will also help you in manifestation. So clear quartz is very, very good crystal for you guys. If not, tiger's eye. Now, let us see the signs coming in. Once you see those changes that I told you, Aries, you can just WhatsApp me and let me know what changes did you see when I gave you these little solutions. Libra, Capricorn, Cancer. So these are some signs that are coming towards you, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Okay, now we'll be seeing the charms. Okay. Your person could be into business or your business will grow. You will be very successful. You have a dream. Like you have a unicorn dream. Like you want your business to go at hundred, like a million dollars or something like that. You want to be a billionaire or something. I think your dream will fulfill because you're an old soul. You have it all. Your wise, again, clear quads. You guys need a clear quads. Don't forget about tiger's eye. If you can have it, just... Uh, give it a second priority but your first priority is clear quartz because twice we got this for business if you're into business then definitely you need clarity of mind clear quartz is very important i'm feeling unicorn and i'm feeling like you have dreams that you want to fulfill like you have a unicorn dream in your mind like something that's impossible something that's uh very different you want to pursue that i feel like you're going to do that some of you have you in their name. Some of your countries have you in their name, in your country's name. But I'm definitely seeing that something hidden is going to come out in the open in the month of September. Look out. Now from Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? Let's see. Aries is a little confused, has options. The Taurus wants to amend things with you, but still having doubts here. The Gemini wants to reconcile or they miss you or this you as one of a kind. The Cancer person is stuck in their you know past thoughts or just very negative these days. Leo wants a new beginning in love. The Virgo person is stuck. I feel like they want to work things out very, very badly. <clears throat> Uh, Libra is coming with another shot. Scorpio is manipulating things. Sagittarius has someone else, but they're interested in you. Capricorn is very interested in asking you out and communicating things to you. Aquarius feels rejected. They're not liking this rejection. They're rejecting other people for you. Pisces wants to expand in love and see how things grow between you guys. Okay. So Aries, this is your read. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Now, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Come back for more. 
for more videos on your sign till then please take care of yourself bye